What's up, everybody? Welcome to another week of CPT 202. This week, we're going to start the final project before you have your um, wrap up uh, portfolio at the end of the course. This is a longer one, so you're actually going to get three weeks to work on this compared to the traditional two. So what we're diving into is video production. You're going to actually be creating a video. We're going to walk through some of the steps and really what you should be focusing on week per week. Now, I want to kick this off a little bit by talking about some of the stats that are out there with video content and why I think this is really important. In business, you're seeing video become the you know prime choice of content creation because people love video. I'm sure you've all experienced that. Either you're on TikTok, watching videos on YouTube, uh, maybe it's Instagram Reels. Video content is the key right now. And so 81% of businesses are actually using video as a marketing tool, and that just continues to go up. You're going to see more ads that are done in video format. You're going to have more outreach to different audiences because of that. So this is why you really need to understand the basics of video editing. Six out of 10 people would rather watch videos online than television. Uh, traditional television is kind of uh, going away, right? We have all these streaming services out there, Netflix, HBO, um, Hulu to catch your network television shows. Um, just, you know, the more streaming services that exist, the more that's how people are really absorbing their content. They want to be mobile on the go and not necessarily tied down to a cable box um, of traditional years. YouTube. Second most popular website, um, really these numbers shift around quite a bit. Facebook is usually number one, um, or you can consider Google. Well, Google owns YouTube, so all the lines are kind of starting to blur, but just realize that video content you know, is really where everybody's spending most of their time when they're online nowadays. Um, users view more than a billion hours every day on YouTube, which that's a crazy statistic. It's really kind of uh, hard to imagine that in a 24 hour day, there's a billion hours watched. And then just think about the amount of hours of footage that gets uploaded to YouTube every day as well. It's just, it's absolutely insane. 59% uh, of executives say they'd rather watch a video than read text. Reading text takes time. Uh, a video summary sometimes can get that message across much more clear than having to read a report. So video is actually becoming a, a really nice way to report out on things and, and to really communicate a message properly. TikTok is obviously the most uh, popular platform right now. Uh, they just actually topped YouTube in terms of hours watched per day. Um, so TikTok is really, really kicking it there. Um, obviously, those are all short videos, so a different purpose than YouTube. But, you know, got to give props to the newer platform that kind of replaced Vine, if any of you are familiar with Vine back in the day. Um, but it's an amazing platform that uh, is opening the doors for content creators even more. So what I want you to do is start off with uh, the video that's linked below here. So pause this lecture, watch that. It just talks about, again, some more statistics with video and why it's important in business. So uh, give that a watch, and then you can kick back into the uh, lecture here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. It just uh, really conveys a lot of the statistics in a very interesting and visual way. Um, and, you know, when we're talking about video, it makes the, the most sense to have you watch other videos, um, especially in the beginning of this unit. You know, what's really interesting is that more and more clients or users want branded video content. They don't want to have to read a blog. They want to be able to watch a video. They want to be able to take that message quickly. And so for marketers, you're going to see more demand for video than ever before. Now, generally speaking, video production can take hours. Um, it takes years to learn, you know, to, to get to that professional level. Um, if you're interested in that, that's awesome. This course is not meant to, uh, you know, make you a master videographer by any means. But I want you to be comfortable doing quick edits with some free software because uh, I've just noticed, again, in, in job descriptions, more and more of the requirements are, you know, website edits, uh, quick video edits or social media video is becoming, again, you know, really standard. So you should have some idea on how to uh, shoot video, edit video, and then actually get that loaded online. Now, when I talk about video production, um, I like to bring up one of my favorite channels on YouTube, um, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. The reason why I like to, to talk about them is they started off in their basement uh, in North Carolina, just the two of them. Now they own multiple companies. They own a studio out in LA. They employ a ton of people. And, you know, each of them somewhere, the, the estimate of their worth is like 12 to 13 million a year 
um, from bringing in, you know, ad revenue and, and different uh, deals and sponsorships. So um, I just like to use them as an example because they started off in a basement uh, with nothing. Uh, had a fun concept and have been doing it ever since. Uh, they now own Smosh. So if you're familiar with the Smosh channel, um, that actually falls under Mythical Entertainment. And so they just continue to do amazing things. And, you know, it's a real good story from just starting in the basement, you know, with a camera and the two of them. So uh, feel free to watch the video uh, linked below just as an introduction to Good Mythical Morning. They're uh, a funny group of guys and some of the content they put out there is absolutely hilarious. Um, just kind of a good grown, you know, homegrown roots to amazing success and, and wealth in the video production space. All right, so let's talk about your video assignment. Um, because this is a three week assignment, it's, it's set up a little bit differently. So I've tried to break this down in a way that makes the most sense for all of you, makes it easy to follow. Again, you're going to need to stay on top of the work week to week. If you're going to try and put this all off to that final weekend, you're not going to be successful in this assignment. So time management is key. Um, again, each week, these lectures are going to walk you through a little bit more information. As long as you stay up to what the expectations are per week, you will do fine with this assignment. Again, this is the, the big final assignment before you put together your portfolio for finals week. So um, it's worth more as well. It's worth 200 points. So double the, uh, the other assignments. So you're going to really want to pay attention here. Um, so your assignment is actually to create a three to five minute promo video for Finlandia. So you're going to introduce the school, you're going to talk about, you know, what the space might be like, present yourself in a professional way. Um, you're going to make this interesting and do an interview. You are going to be required to do an interview. Um, it can just be with yourself. You know, obviously this is an online course, so you might not be on campus. Um, I'm going to give you some campus files to work with um, that have video cuts and, and things from actual Finlandia marketing videos. So you can cut those and edit those how you need to, um, but it's a great chance to put together a quick video showcasing the school, showcasing your um, student experience. And the reason why I like to do this is one, you're a student, so you have the story already put together. Um, you get to tell your story again in another way, similar to what you did uh, with the, the podcast, social media, the blog, all these things tie together and uh, kind of come together in this video format. So let's talk about how you're gonna achieve this. So there's four real steps to this assignment. First one is planning out your script and figuring out the logistics of what you wanna actually get together. Then you're gonna record your actual segments. So it's gonna be the audio, video. Um, if you're gonna use photos, you're gonna to need to go and capture those things. Then you're gonna compile, you're gonna edit, you're gonna go into production. Um, and finally, posting this to YouTube. So um, because there's all these steps, we're gonna break these down week by week. So the very first thing here is to think about what you want to do for this assignment. So this week, you should be working on um, storyboarding, writing your script. Um, it doesn't have to be word for word, but you should be thinking through what do you need to say? What do you want to be showcased in this? The reason why you, you spend a lot of time in the logistics here is you want to make sure you have the idea of what you're going to need to gather. Video production can be time consuming because you have to actually do the recording. You have to go find the photos or the video files that you want to use. Um, you need to have those kind of plans in place so that way you're not all of a sudden panicking um, and having to try and travel and trying to get things um, when you're in the editing phase of being on your computer or you're on, on your device. So writing up a storyboard is super helpful. It lets you kind of prep and start to gather and organize the things that you're going to need. So really focus on that this week. All right, next week, you're going to get into the step two, which is recording your segments. So actually using your device, most people are using their phones for this. Um, if you have a camera, that's awesome. If you want to use your webcam, that works too on your computer. Um, but you need to make sure you're, you're recording these segments. You have crisp, clean audio. You want to have stable video. So if you are hand-holding with your uh, phone, you know, make sure you're, you're holding it the correct way and you're not just kind of uh, have this really shaky video because that's going to make people throw up when they watch your video and that's, that's never good. Um, multiple takes, multiple shots. Don't assume you got it on the first try. Um, I've had students before that have gone out and done like one recording um, at their different locations. They go back, they edit, they realize they don't have it. The audio is terrible. It was too windy. Uh, the light was really bad. Now they got to go shoot it again. So you're going to spend some time actually learning how to properly shoot video next week and making sure that you understand what you need to capture. 
Finally, in that third week of the assignment, you're gonna be doing the editing. So you're gonna use Adobe Spark, which you're already familiar with from creating your graphics for your uh, podcast, but there's video editor in there and you're going to be able to compile and put all your footage together. I would love to get you into something like Adobe Premiere um, because that is a, obviously an industry standard, but honestly, you would need a lot more time to learn that software. Plus, you'd have to pay for that software. As I mentioned before in this course, I don't want you paying for anything. This is a free software to use. You've already used it. So um, you're going to be doing your editing in Adobe Spark, which we're going to cover in that third week of this assignment. And then finally, posting to YouTube. So some of you might have done this before, some of you haven't. So we're going to walk through how to get your account set up. Um, again, you're going to use your Finlandia email account for YouTube. You're going to upload your video, make sure that it's unlisted, and then that's the link you're going to share with me, and that's how I'm going to grade the assignment. So as you think through this assignment, you know, right now, this week, it's the planning phase. So start thinking about that storyboard, thinking about your script, what scenes you might want to get. Um, start thinking about the logistics of who you want to interview, if you're going to interview yourself, if you're going to interview somebody else. Um, all the logistics should be figured out this week. So that way, next week, you can get into the field and start recording. So this week is planning, next week is shooting, that third week is editing and publishing your video. I hope you're all excited to dive into video. There's so much potential here, especially with YouTube, TikTok, um, Instagram Reels, all these different platforms, love video content. So I hope you enjoy learning these basics and I can't wait to see what you put together.